Good afternoon to the saints of North Creek and the saints, the saints everywhere. Amen to the saints. Uh, I'm going to be reading from the 14th chapter of the Gospel of St. Luke for our, for our afternoon or evening devotion. Uh, this is at a time when Jesus had been healing and uh, casting out demons. And this is also a time when people were getting uh, really uh, fearful of Jesus that he was bringing this brand new thing that was turning the world upside down, and they were going to fight against it. So we start at the 14th uh, chapter at the first verse. Now, Jesus was casting out a demon that was dumb. When the demon had gone out, the dumb man spoke, and the people marveled. But some of them said, he cast out demons by Beelzebul, the prince of demons. While others, to test him, sought him, knowing a sign from heaven. But he, knowing their thoughts, said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself is laid to waste, and a divided household falls. And then he goes on to give them a warning. And he says, He who is not with me is against me, and he who does not gather with me scatters. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of the word. Let us pray. Almighty God, we pray that you would open our hearts and our minds, that not only would we be hearers of your word, but that we would be doers of your word. Pray this in his name. Amen. You know, Jesus uh, used this moment to remind uh, those who would be, would be followers of him that you can't remain neutral, that you can come and work with me and we can get many great things done because we're working the work of God. Uh, however, if you decide to sit on the side and remain neutral, that's just the same as if you're against me, because the things that you don't do will do harm. So you have to find a very uh, special commitment if you're going to follow me. Now that commitment thing is not always easy, is it? You know, when I think of that commitment, uh, some time ago I was reading, uh, remember the golfer uh, Lee Trevino? He was a magnificent golfer, and he liked to joke around on things on the golf course as well. He was quite a character. At any rate, uh, this one time he was coming off of one of the greens, and uh, one of his fans came running off the sidelines and said, Man, you, you are the best golfer that I have ever seen. He said, Could you give me uh, an autograph? Well, they both looked, and neither one of them had paper. So the man took a $5 bill out of his wallet, and he had Lee Trevino give it a signature. So he looked at he goes, oh man, this is great. I'm going to keep this, I'm going to frame this and put it in my study. I mean, you're my idol. This is fantastic. And he, you know, saunders off of the, off of the green and back and disappears into the crowd. After that round of golf was over and Trevino headed into the clubhouse, he sat down and he uh, and another friend were there and Lee bought a couple of drinks and he gave the the waiter a $20 bill. Well, you can guess what happened when he brought it, when they brought the waiter brought his change. Lee looked and there was a $5 bill. And what do you think was on the $5 bill? That's right. Lee's own signature, his own autograph that he had just given to this fan who idolized him and was going to keep it forever. Obviously, when the man got to the clubhouse, he got pretty tired and thirsty and he figured, hey, <laughs> maybe I'm not that committed. Well, you know, we... I mean, I'm guilty of, of being neutral at times when I know I shouldn't be. Someone says something that I know just isn't right. And so rather than speak up, I just let it go. Or, you know, there, there could be something I could be doing more. I'll be walking through a parking lot and I'll see, a, you know, an older person or someone else that's having problems putting their groceries into the car. And I walk over to my car and get in. And later on, I go, why did I do that? You know, you go, oh, well, you were tired, you had a lot of things to do, you were busy. Yeah, but, you know, you're either for me or you're against me. You can't be you can't be neutral. And if you're not working with me, said Jesus, then you're scattering about. So it's a wasted time that can never be reclaimed again. You know, I, I think it's uh, really good for us during this season of Lent to be thinking about commitment, thinking about where we stand with our commitment, thinking about how many times we should have said or should have did. 
And, but the, the really great thing is, you know, even when we don't, if we take time to stop, if we can see it and we can say, Lord, you know, I, I really am sorry, right from the bottom of my heart. And I, and I ask for your forgiveness and I ask for you to give me just the extra measure of, of, of your spirit that I might be a little stronger disciple, that I might find that commitment and not fail in it uh, so often. Maybe tomorrow I can do better if you'll bless me today. And I guarantee you, God will bless you because God has blessed me in the same ways. And so that's what, you know, we got to be thinking about now. Uh, we're moving through the season of Lent, and it's a great time. We're getting into the uh, month of March, and the sun is getting warmer, and it's, it's, days are getting longer. It's kind of a neat place to be, I think. Praise the Lord, and I'll 